Um, so the great thing about a startup, which they never really tell you, is you can forget about sleeping and planning things, you know, in an ordinary way. So one of the things I see when a mix is the headline of what I was actually going to talk about. So I can talk about anything, um, but I'm not going to talk about Bitcoin and blockchain because I think that the two previous people there have done a great job. I don't want to also plug Tycon, uh, you know, this is not what we're doing here, um, but what I'm going to do is probably talk about the difficulties that uh, people face when they try and connect devices to the internet fit. So we've heard applications here of IoT, uh, what happens, and, you know, things that are good about IoT, and then you've got all the bad things. And one of the um, reasons why we set up Tycon it was 14 months ago, and in 14 months, I think, hopefully you'll, you'll agree with that quite a bit, um, was this belief that there was a better way out there of connecting devices. And so we wanted to connect devices in, in a way which wasn't being done today. Um, and there was also this need to help the developer community uh, to, to build these applications for IoT, which actually are robust and future-proof and so on. So in the first six months of trading, we secured 4,500 uh, customers, developers, and so on, and that continues to grow. And so we, we're cultivating this, uh, this uh, community. So what I want to talk about is what are we trying to solve and why it's important to buy it. So as you do, you come up with formulas um, which you try and convince yourself. Uh, so we believe we can save 12 point something billion hours of development time a year. And, and how did we come up with this crazy number? And believe you me, we were shocked when we thought about it. But typically, an IoT application today takes about seven to eight months uh, from start to, to get in a prototype. Uh, then you've got to get to stage two, which is after you've got a bit of funding and stuff, and you, you go and uh, productionize your idea. And, and then you're into 18 months uh, time as, as a myth. Right? But let's forget about the manufacturing. Just the, the development and prototyping, you're looking at seven to eight months. And we thought, how if we could cut that down to a few weeks? Okay. And um, so one of the other things that really frustrated us and the three co-founders with the same passion, is that when you look at the IoT world and you look at companies that say, we're going to help developers really get IoT products to market, uh, they all come up with uh, a middleware platform. And you think, gosh, there's 550 of those platforms in the world. Do we really need one more? You know, what is that going to do? And our, our thinking is, actually, if you want to resolve this problem, you've got to start out the root cause of the problem and that's the device itself. So that's what Pipecom seeks to do, and we believe that from seven months we can cut that down to two weeks, and we've been launching applications with AWS, which I can talk about a bit later. So there's a huge untapped potential in IoT, okay? And we, we um, I mean, these are stats uh, out there, so Gartner, whoever reads Gartner reports, and uh, has been part of the magic problem, or whatever, I don't know if you paid a lot to do that. Uh, but the fact is that market research suggests that uh, by 2020 there will be about 25 billion devices connected to the, the part of this internet of things. And yet today, it was of 2015, it was short of 5 billion. Now, uh, I've been spending many years in new technologies, 28 years more than I care to think about, uh, and I spent the last three, four years uh, in the what's called the end-to-end -end cellular business. Um, and you can do pretty quickly calculations know what these mobile network operators are putting on their networks. And if you vote phone, uh, I think at one point it was 500,000 new um, devices per month. Now, there's not many vote phones.